Okie dokie. Well, hi everybody, and once again, it's cast time. Um, and let me start by saying that I think this is either going to be a really super short one or a really super long one. Like, not much middle ground here. It just, it just depends on how everything goes. Um, but let me go ahead and intro this music real quick. And now, uh, once again, I'm sorry, all right, sorry if the image looks a little off or segmented. Um, for those that weren't around yesterday, I've got a whole new look. The whole goal being to, I'm trying to set this up so I don't have to alt tab out of any windows and thus run on the risk of my computer crashing. So, so yeah, but it, I don't, I don't think I have it exactly the way I want it. So it, this is still a work in progress. So, but once again, let me, um, let me go ahead and intro this music real quick. Um, this is going to be Terminal Hallucinations, uh, Lovecraftian Dark Ambient Hour. But I'm only going to probably play, on average, probably 15 minutes. But let, again, again, I don't know. This could be a real short, a real super short one or a long one. I don't know. Um, but, uh, oh, and this, like yesterday, this music here came from uh, Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse. All time classic. So let me go ahead and get the music going. Oh, don't start this shit. Kind of like how it fades in like that. Whereas, whereas most other videos, the moment you click, the moment you uh, click play, bring there it goes, there it pops right up. There, nope, this one fades in. But anyway, um, for today's stream, it just did my usual idle champs, um. Primarily, like yesterday, just uh, completing, just focused on quest completion. Um, I think I completed the main storyline quest on, I think it's called Tomb of Annihilation or something like that. It's like the, it's like the second zone in the game. So, like I said, did the main story. Uh, the goal being is, uh, I was trying to unlock one character, but, um, there's still, a. Uh, there was actually supposed to be a second one that was, I think, I think was supposed to be in this particular quest line, in this particular zone, but didn't find them. So what I might end up having to do, if I could remember to do so, is uh, I'm probably going to have to pull up the wiki or something and see what I missed. So, and then, um, and then uh, during this, during this time, I tried looking for podcasts and stuff, but it just... The only one I could find was uh, Triple KO, the fighting game podcast. Um, they were supposed to talk about uh, Evo, the Evo event that happened like a week ago or whatever. But as far as I can recall, they actually talked about very little of it. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me, let me rephrase that. Um, when I caught the podcast, it was actually premiering, like it was actually in progress. Like, it wasn't a, it wasn't a pre-recorded video or anything like that. Like, it was live. So, so I think I probably caught, like, like, maybe, maybe like the, like the last, or the latter hour of it. So, but yeah, it was, it was like at this point, they were hardly talking about evil at all. They were talking about something else. I can't remember what. Uh, but otherwise, uh, at some point after that, um, I fired up Pinball FX3. Uh, for those that don't know, I think I talked about this in my stream, but um, because one, uh, the ever-present risk of the pinball games crashing, FX3 and DX11 Arcade, you know, there are always this, uh, this perpetual chance that they're going to crash. Um, and as well as, as well as, um, as I've also said in my other casts, um, my hands are 
my hands are becoming an issue. I can't really play anything controller related for long periods, especially when it's uh, really intense, like pinball. Lots of controller mangling and wrangling and all that. So, um, yeah, but yeah, I'm only going to be able to play pinball now if I can get it running. You know, if I, if I can get it to run without crashing, uh, like about 15 or so minutes, 30 minutes, tops. So anyway, um, FX3, uh, it worked, didn't crash or anything, but like I said, um, I played for probably about 15, 20 minutes, and um, already my, uh, my right thumb was starting to get sore. So, uh, let me see, let me see one thing. There was something else I was wanting to say about that. Oh, yeah, and I, um, the, the, the tables that are chosen at random were pretty bad ones. I, I think Family Guy, Bob's Burgers, Castle Storm, that's a, that's a table to this day I don't think I've ever done good on. Uh, it's a, it's a classic Zen table. But yeah, I, like I said, I've never done well on this table. Um, and then like the fourth table is Blade, but these are, uh, aside from Family Guy and Bob's Burgers, the other two, I, I've always sucked at. So I've never been able to get a great score on them. So yeah, this is a really bad week. I managed to, I managed to win once. So I'm out of the red, but it looks like I'm gonna have, it's gonna be, uh, I'm gonna have to make repeated attempts to stay above water. You know, so I don't drop down a tier next week. But uh, I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea. And then um I forgot to I totally forgot to do it earlier. I think, yeah, and I think I said this during my stream as well. I was going to post a screenshot of, um, of how well I did on, uh, on the matchups, but it totally slipped my mind. But like I said, it did, I only won, I only won one time, but it was enough to get me out of the red. So, yeah, it, like I said, it wasn't anything impressive. But, uh, Gems of War, um, I was actually, I was actually wanting to play, was wanting to, um, work on the uh, new weekly PvP. I don't want to say season. Because something that only lasts a week isn't what I'd call a call a season. But anyway, still got to do my uh, Gems of War weekly PvP. I was wanting to do it during the evening, but just other shit happened. So I'll probably do that like tomorrow morning and... Um, Based on last week when I actually tried to record the session, um, the file size ended up being like 5.5 gigabytes. So you're talking just just to upload it at least an hour, and that's just to get it uploaded. That doesn't you know that doesn't take into consideration you know the processing and then since I always play uh, outside music in the background, um, it has to it's got to do a at least a 10 minute copyright check and then you know and then there's the processing where where uh, oftentimes when I'm when I'm tracking the progress it'll say upload complete processing will start shortly and then you got to sit there and wait like a half an hour it's yeah I've had I've had to wait that long wait a half just just for it to start processing gets to like 95% and then just stops for 15 or so minutes and then it goes to it goes to doing the copyright checks which would for some reason I had no idea I don't understand why it does this it takes about uh, 10 minutes no matter how big my you know no, no matter how long my video is no matter how big my file size is it always takes 10 minutes I don't get it and, and again, that's a minimum. There's uh there's been times where it'll say or it'll say checking, hundred percent, but then go to. But checks are still running, 
and will still take some time com or will take time to complete. So that means I'm left spinning my wheels even longer because of that. So like like I said, short answer. 5.5 gigabytes is way too long to try to get this video uploaded. So this time around, uh, Gem to War, I don't plan on recording a video of it. I don't want to be waiting all night for that. So, um, and then, uh, like I've been doing, just been um, watching various uh, Dungeons and Dragons videos. Um, some of them were. I think a few of them were like actual tabletop sessions. I couldn't I think they they didn't pan off for one reason or another. But these these were um kind of like the uh, the the reproductive rights charity stream that they did yesterday. Oh, side note, I didn't watch any more of it. I think I watched like the first first five or so minutes skipped ahead to work to the uh, actual gameplay or to the actual session you know and so on and so forth but anyway um I did uh one did come up on my uh my YouTube recommendations uh Black Dice Society and I'm like holy shit I just remembered yeah some of these some of these characters are on the idle game which is probably one of the reasons why uh I think I've said it before in other videos um, to me, Idle Champs probably has the best community in any other games I played because it's fairly tight knit. You know, but yeah, I, I saw Black Dice Society in there. It's like, oh wow, hey, hey, there's some, you know, some of the characters are in this Idle game, you know, and I fired it up. I mean, I I tried watching it. I'll I'll, I'll talk more about, about about what I'm really wanting to talk about here in a second. But yeah, I'm like looking at some of the. Some of the people on the session. Hey, hey, that's Tatiana. Huh? I got her in my I got her in my TPS formation. And, and like, hey, that's Nahara. Hey, I got her in my speed formation. So I thought that was pretty interesting. So, but on the downside, yeah, the right at the start, like the the dungeon master, um, he's like tall black guy. He's actually one of the big mover shakers in this in the in the game universe. He's like doing, trying to do the voice of an old lady. That, that did not go well at all. It was, it was like one of those one-hour photo with Robin Williams moments. It was so cringy. I had to like close my eyes and just listen to it. Like I had to do that on one-hour photo. Like some of the, some of the acting, some of the scenes were just so cringy. I had to like, I had to like, oh, shut my eyes. So, and then for those that don't know. I mean, the, the the dungeon master in these games, yeah, he's, you know, he's in charge of the combat, he's in charge of the gameplay and all that, but one of the responsibility that he has is he has to act out all the NPCs, you know, the innkeepers, the stable cleaners, you know, the, the cobblers, the butchers, the bakers, the candlestick makers, he has to act out the parts of all these, so on one end, you know, I totally can't, you know, on one end, I, it's understandable. It's part of his job, but on the other hand, too, oh, and this isn't a unique, unique situation. Some of the other D and D sessions I've watched, where dungeon masters try to try to impersonate various characters, or hell, even some of the uh, players themselves, they try to impersonate their characters. It's just, oh, you know, and um, I won't go so I won't go so far as to say they're bad. But it, it, yeah, it. I've had to close my eyes for some of this. So, but you know, and then on the same token too, you know, I'm, I'm. If I was to ever get into this sort of thing, I probably, you know, I probably wouldn't be the, wouldn't be the greatest role player either. I mean, you know the, uh, the, the character I created, um, Half Park Monk. Um, I kept thinking, um. Uh, thinking the nameless one, you know, updated my journal, you know, that, I have that, but I'm pretty sure if uh, I tried carrying on a conversation from, you know, with the uh, nameless one voice from uh, Planescape Torment, I'm, yeah, it probably wouldn't end well, you know, or if I try to do this kind of voice, I'm pretty sure there'd be 
somebody else checking me out that's probably going, oh my god, Joe. Joe, you really need to work on that voice, man. So, so, so overall, it's all good. But like I, like I said, it, I thought it was pretty... I thought it was pretty neat checking out this video, though. I mean, because like I said, for Idol Champs, for those that don't know, um, a lot is, as is probably obvious, they get their inspiration from Dungeons and Dragons. But um, a lot of the characters you can use in this game are taken from, you know, various um, Dungeons and Dragons campaigns and stuff like that. Like it's taken from real life characters. So it adds kind of a kind of a cool touch to it. Um, okay, there was something else I was wanting to say about that. You know, and it, it's it's totally unlike um, man, I've probably said this in other casts too, but it's totally unlike a lot of other games out there. Like you know, developers they make their games, but then you know they ship it out to public and all that. But after that, they just kind of they just kind of hide in their cave. Like, never to be seen and heard from again, and, you know, players make complaints. Hey, this character, you know, this character needs to be nerfed. Hey, this character is overpowered, and, you know, you know, and devs are, oh, 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 okay, well, just, just leave the character here on the doorstep, and we'll take care of it in a few months, you know, or, oh, is there something wrong with that? You know, like, like they're, they're handling your issue with, like, with, like, rubber gloves and tongs or something, and they... Like it's fucking toxic waste and oh okay um well we'll we'll put this over here and we'll 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 take a look at it thank you you know that you know you know most other games are like that but not this one um I think um I think even the game devs they actually stream the game they play like all the time or at least I want to say once a week I think there is a I forget the name of the name of the stream. But yeah, they're the the game devs. They actually were doing a game stream. They go, I want to say Friday or Saturday. They were doing this again, playing you know, play. They're streaming the game they made. I can't really think of any other game that does that except maybe uh, Killer Instinct. I just remember the Killer Instinct documentary. I I think they were doing that as well. I think. But I'm going to take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Whoop. Looks like this is going to be a long one. Well, it's like I said at the start of the cast. It's either going to be a shorty or a longie. Mm. I got I to gotta rewind back, though. Um, I don't... I don't know how... How a lot of these... Um, how a lot of these D&D &D sessions work. But I know... I know if I had my way, um, if I was able to, if I was able to control what NPCs and what, you know, the, that the players are going to be interacting with, if I could control who's in there, I'd want to, I'd want to at least be able to do their voice competently or at least act out that part, you know, you know, reasonably, you know. There was actually a better word I had at this moment, but it totally slipped my mind. Believably, yeah. You know, I'd, I'd at least want to be able to play that part believably. But yeah, when I saw that, when I saw him, like, do that old lady, uh, no. So I I would like to think that he didn't have any control over this this adventure that they're, or this campaign that they're doing. Like... Like one of his higher ups or something, like handed him the script and there you go, shoot it. You know, there you go. Oh, here's a campaign. Your problem now. You know, kind of like what, kind of like what goes on at my job, Walmart. Like my immediate managers, they're not. For the most part, they're not. They might be assholes, but they're not malicious. It just, they're doing. They're basically doing the job that their managers tell them to. So, I'd like to think that that's what, what's going on here. And probably in a lot of other uh, sessions as well. So, but anyway, I gotta, I gotta cut it off here because I still got one more thing I gotta talk about. Um, but yeah, I, I went through my, um, I went on my YouTube movies, uh, stuff I purchased just out of curiosity. I saw it a lot of like, hey, Resurrection of Jake the Snake. I totally forgot I had that, you know. So, um, it was a, 
it was a movie that I that I picked up like about a year ago. Um, I probably should have added it to here, but I totally forgot. Anyway, um, I saw uh, a Jake the Snake podcast on the uh, or Jake the Snake on the Joe Rogan podcast, and it was probably one of very few podcasts that I've actually watched from beginning to end. At least 90% of all the Joe Rogan podcasts that I've watched don't don't have this distinction. Like, I'd be lucky to, at most, about half of it. You know, I'll watch it. It might be good stuff. You might have had a great guest on there or something. Um, trying to think of some names. Uh, none come to mind, but, you know, a lot of the podcasts, I don't watch very... I watch... Again, maybe at the most 50% of. Jake the Snake was one of very few that I've actually watched all of it. So, yeah, um, talked about the show. Um, I saw that, um, got it, and I didn't even, I didn't even write it first. Like, I bought the thing. So, after what I saw on the, on, on the podcast, yeah, I've got to get this. So, but, like, like, as I'm kind of implying here, I have watched this before. I watched it about a year ago. So, again, just browsing through all my YouTube movies and that came up and, hmm, maybe I should give that another watch. So, that's probably, good, that's definitely going to be my future plans right there. Um, watch that. Um, and do my, uh, do my PvP session on Gems of War. And then up, um, if Jake, if the Jake the Snake doc, if it doesn't, if it doesn't pan off for whatever reason, I'll, I'll just find find one of my other YouTube movies to watch. So, so, but anyway, um, that's gonna do it for me, everybody. Um, I believe I've said all the things that I wanted to say, and I kind of surprised myself. I said at the start of this cast, I, I thought it was either going to be a super short one or a super long one, but it looks like this is actually kind of like right in the middle. So I, at 22 minutes, so I, I think in my mind when I, when I said a short one, I was thinking like around 10 minutes. And when I was thinking of a long one, I was thinking at least 30. But no, 22. So, a bit of a surprise. Um, but, but once again, I'm going to go ahead and call it good here. So, uh, but otherwise, thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, this is going to be my last cast for the week. So, my work week has started up. Um, it's Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So, that's my work week. So, you probably won't be hearing from me again until Sunday morning. So, so until then... Thanks again for coming by, everybody, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.